Capricorn, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Capricorn. I really feel that this month can be very powerful in starting to see the results of some of your efforts. Some of you are battling uh, between independence and tradition. Uh, some of you may be questioning, you know, uh, following a, a type of life and a type of career that gives more room to your free spirit, to your creative self in order for you to take more of control of uh, your life and what you perceive is your ideals of how and beliefs of how your life should look at at this time of your life so a lot of you are like um it's like um you have done a lot of uh, i feel some of you have done a lot of thought and have been through some deep reflection upon okay i'm 32 and i feel that my life hasn't yet you know obtained those certain elements that i feel i need to grant me that level of success so some of you are quite pinpointing things that you are assured you are entitled of with the time uh, frame you are in. So I feel that other, other Capricorns are um, starting to really, really taste what success can be like. What I feel is that there's some strategy, some plan, some opportunity that came or that will be coming that is really more connected with your work and ambition. Um, that can um, be a part of those seeds of intention that you have been putting on in terms of uh, achieving something of importance to you. Some of you are, you know, returning powerfully to the game. It's like some of you are really fighting to um, make yourself noticed, make yourselves um, recognized, to put a brand, a name, a, your name in the world. I feel there, there's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of things, you know, opportunities opening up. I feel that Capricorns will be start, start to see opportunities blossoming out of nowhere. And it's like one after the other. So much that it may cause, you know, some... It's like, oh my God, what is happening? Or um, some level of uh, stress. Yes, but you have a lot of control. You have a lot of determination, desire, power. You know, there's a lot of charged energy with Capricorns. And I'm very happy to see this because you have been going a little bit through more of a moody time. And now I feel that there's at least these two weeks are great in terms of um, giving concrete steps to uh, things you have planned before, starting to really, um, you know, enhance your confidence enhance your um, image to the public others of you are really tasting what power is well what power um, can be like and are questioning um, the way to use that power to get you to your end game or to get you to your goal so what I feel is this mid month for Capricorns is really about uh, power and ambition desire there's a lot of magnetism around you, a lot of attraction. This could be you attracting the resources that you need, you attracting um, the, the contacts and the, the, the type of, um, you know, it's like the type of wires, you know, coming together to charge um, your plan. Some of you are really uh, being um, seen and noticed by uh, people around you that could uh, open up, you know, this way of um, this road of success. Some of you are, you know, again, uh, I feel that there's some Capric Capricorns that are just um, indecisive because they are, they are more uh, into following a path that is more independent more freelancer style more on your own vision more on your own um, terms 
very individualistic type of idea or project or career you are thinking upon. Um, and you are battling that trait with the conventions that you find in society or the type of uh, restraints, obligations, traditions, dogmas, beliefs, things that are really conditioned that, uh, that are the right way to do certain things. So tradition versus originality, I feel, is also playing a part here. You do have as the advice the Queen of Wands. So you are uh, advised to follow your passion, follow, where, uh, follow the light of your fire. You know, there's this fire being lit up for you. For some of you, there's real fire being lit up. And it's, it's like, enjoy it. Let yourself be immersed uh, in it. Do not fear um, what you can do because you are more in control than what you think. You may fear um, going into this, you may fear the power of it, you may fear going into this, um, you know, it's like a reborn feeling of creativity and power. And it's like you may fear going, allowing it fully in or acting on it because of the impact that may have in establishment, things that are established like your marriage, your family, your, um, your the soci society around you, the type of institutions you are connected with, and at a deep, deep, deep level, beliefs that are instilled in you that are not yours. So. You also may be fearing doing the wrong thing, yeah, you may be fearing not uh, being that wise, but again, the, the advice is the chariot, and this is why I say, this is more a thing in your, in your mind, and you can actually join quite well and manage quite well, whichever you are seeing as the good choice and the bad choice. So it's like you can bring them together at your advantage. You can do something very different, very unique, where you can be recognized for and put it to work in society and put it to work in the traditional system but it has to have your own original spark it has to have your your name and your identity in it some of you are rediscovering the power of your identity the power of will i feel that this is a lot of mars energy there's a lot of we, we are going to have this mars pluto conjunction so it's like it's overcharging you and granting you, you know, for those of you who have been battling with lethargic feelings and a lot of um, sense of being weak, this is the time to charge, charge, keep charging, keep pushing, because I feel that there's something great to come in terms of achievement. And I feel that you can be quite surprised. So Capricorn, I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you who have been liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. I'm really, really grateful for it. And please keep doing so. It's a great source of motivation. So yeah, thankful. Uh, hopefully we'll see each other soon.